there was a magnitude 5.1 this afternoon. It happened at um, 241 in the afternoon. Uh, it's located seven, uh, four miles southeast of Ojai. Uh, it seems like it was very widely felt by many people around the region. Uh, and it was preceded by a foreshock sequence that seemed to have started Saturday morning. Uh, the largest one in that was only a 2.5. Uh, and it's been followed by quite a few aftershocks so far. It looks like six that are magnitude three or uh, that are in the magnitude three range. Um, Alan, you want to add about the fault, uh, the potential fault? Um, why don't you go ahead with that part okay. and continue? Please. Yeah, we, I mean, it, obviously this early, we don't know for certain what's faulted on. You confirm that by actually seeing it in the field. We don't know whether this would have been large enough to actually create a, a field expression. There are a lot of faults in the region. Uh, one is called the San Cayetano Fault. Uh, it's a, capable of quite large earthquakes, and it seems to be the most likely association um, The uh, movement during the earthquake was what's called a thrust movement with one side up and over the other. That's consistent with the San Cayetano Fault. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.